Many of us have been back in school for two, maybe even three months now. And if you have been teaching virtually since the start of the school year, your school or district might be deciding on whether or not they want to go back in person. Now, this may be causing you a little bit of anxiety, and this anxiety might even be heightened because we're getting closer to flu season, and it's okay that you feel this way. So I wanna tell you guys, I have been in person since the beginning of the school year. And I teach 20 kiddos inside of my classroom every single day, wearing our masks and following all the recommendations. But I have some simple tips and tricks to help you and your students stay safe and healthy this year. I've teamed up with Lysol for this video and we're gonna share some tips on how you can stay healthy, but I also wanted to share some of their really great resources that they have both for teachers and for parents. So the first tip that I have for you is really about helping kids understand six feet social distancing. Let's just be real guys, kids don't understand personal space. In fact, they always seem to be on top of one another and not even thinking about it at all. So we as teachers have to really ensure and help kids start to kind of see that space that needs to be between them. And one of the ways that I do this inside of my classroom is by placing down stars on my carpet. And this really helps tremendously when it comes to lining my students up and making sure that they're remaining the recommended six feet for social distancing. Now, if you don't have Velcro stars, I highly recommend some of the resources that Lysol has. In fact, they have these stickers here, which are circle stickers, and it says here. <laughs> um, but I love it because they also tell you exactly what sort of Avery label that you can print these on and it makes it very easy for you to just print, peel, and then place it onto your floor or maybe even on your wall to keep kids socially distant. So this is one of the little examples here and I could place them right on top of my stars so that my students will stay distanced the entire time. Another thing that I have done to really help my students understand that six feet distance, because let's be real, there's not going to be stars everywhere we go, but in order to get them to see that distance and to pay attention to that distance, especially when we go outside or we're waiting for the bathroom, um, Lysol also has a six feet of separation. I like this uh, printable. It's just a resource for teachers and it's great because it has different activities that you can play for K1, 2, 3, and 4, 5. Um, for 4 and 5, it it's really, really fun. So the kids will take like standard items, toothpicks, cotton balls, straw, etc. And if you're able to go outside and have some of that outdoor time, you can have them see how many it takes for them to get to that six feet part and then record some of their answers. So you're putting in some of those measurement strategies into that and you're also getting them to be very aware of how large a six feet really is. And this is something you're gonna have to do all year long because as you start to get into the school year, kids start to get comfortable. So hang on to these resources, pull them out periodically just to be able to provide your kids with a refresher. My second tip for you is to Share the knowledge early on. You wanna equip your students with all of the knowledge there is about germs and staying healthy and safe this year. So instead of trying to keep that information from them, have them share, have them share their concerns, what they already know about staying healthy. And then you can also encourage new learning with some really fun activities. So Lysol has a share facts, not germs. Um, and this is for grades four through fives activities. And it has a number of activities inside of it. So I'm a morning meeting girl. I love to do morning meeting with my students. And one of the activities that we've been really enjoying lately is charades. <laughs> and my kids love of it and they're really really good at it well in this activity set um, they have an activity for charades and it gets kids to really think about um, some really important facts when it comes to germs and then once students are able to guess that fact they are then able to uh, learn new information so they give you lots of different review facts that you can give your kids right in here another thing that I really like my students to do is to create posters or musical 
sparkle jingles um, and they have those right in here i feel like there's a little bit more ownership when it comes to them creating a poster versus you just slapping something on the wall they're not going to really pay attention to it but when you allow kids to take the knowledge that they've acquired and they're then creating a poster to help spread the awareness of how to stay healthy and safe um, they really do take ownership and they really start to follow some of those recommendations my third tip is to really emphasize hand washing guys it is amazing <laughs> to see how students really struggle with the proper hand washing procedures. And so one really fun way that I have been trying to get my students to wash their hands properly is by using a resource that Lysol provides. Now, they have a number of these, uh, but my favorite at the moment is the tongue twister. So I've simply just placed it inside of a little pocket that I've attached to the wall. And as students are washing their hands, they're reciting the tongue twister to themselves. Themselves. So that allows for me to emphasize the amount of time that they should be washing their hands, which is something we do a lot this year. We wash our hands when we come in, we wash our hands before lunch and after lunch and before the end of the day. So we are really trying to emphasize um, how to stay healthy by ensuring that we're washing our hands every single day with soap, water, and also with the recommended time. I felt like this tongue twister was way too cute to not share with you guys. So here is the one that I have printed out from Lysol and it is the wacky washer watches what they wash. They watch the water washing and whisking away the germs. They watch the water swishing and wish for time to fly. They watch their watch or watch the clock to check their time is right. 20 seconds come so fast the washer is wishing a wish to keep on washing. I'm pretty impressed that I was able to do that. I think I really only tripped up once. That's impressive, guys. One of the ways that we're absolutely trying to stay healthy this year is by limiting the amount of resources that my students are sharing. In fact, my students were not sharing any resources at all this year. So inside of each of their desks, they all have their own personal set of resources. And to start this at the beginning of the year, you have to label them. Now guys, I'm gonna be very honest. I did the super cute, sweet labels with their names and it was bubbly and it had colored paper and it was great until kids started losing things, they started taking things home or markers, crayons, pencils, everything started to break. And so I really like that uh, Lysol actually provides you with their own set of labels that you can print out on Avery paper um, and you can just write their name on it. So it's really handy to be able to have this in the back um, of my desk area so that as students are realizing that their expo markers don't work, I can very quickly and easily label their materials so that there is no confusion on what belongs to whom. <laughs> my final tip for all of you is to maintain and follow up with everything that I have already shared. And one really easy way to do this is to have follow-up activities. Now, a lot of the resources that I've already shared in this video can be used as follow-up activities, but there is one that is near and dear to my heart just simply because I like the concept. <laughs> so Lysol also has code breakers. Guys, this one is really, really fun. So it talks about codes and it actually gives you the resource that students are going to use to try and break the code. Um, now the code is basically a, um, a phrase that helps them and reminds them to wash their hands. So it's just something fun and simple and it allows you to open up the conversation and set the reminders while while also not kind of being that redundant and I'm just gonna repeat things multiple times to you. This makes it a little bit more and fun and engaging um, and it just gives that extra reminder. Now the next follow-up activity is one that is absolutely worth mentioning so you're getting a little bit of a bonus here but I love this one so so much and I use it all the time time. So over on um, hereforhealthyschools.lysol.com, they have a healthy habits soundboard. 
How fun is that? So I have it saved as a bookmark on my phone. And so periodically as we're lining up, we're in the bathroom, there are little things that I want them to kind of practice and remind them. Um, we will do a That is so much fun. They also have this one, which I think is great because how many times can you possibly say, guys, I need you to social distance. I need you to social distance. It just starts to get really, really old. So they have this one. <laughs> I think that's so much fun. It's such a fun reminder of, hey, you're not social distancing. I need you to beep, beep, back up. <laughs> I love this one so much and I think you guys should definitely save this on your phone so that you can take it out and use it periodically. Now Lysol has so many different resources to ensure that you and your students are staying safe and healthy this year and they have everything from lesson plans to posters to stickers to resources for you to use inside of the classroom but also for parents. So definitely head over to hereforhealthyschools.lysol.com Com and check out all of the wonderful resources that they have to offer. And thank you so much to Lysol once again for sponsoring this video. So that is it guys. That is all that I have for you. I hope some of these tips were, a little, were helpful and they're also going to help to reduce some of the anxiety that you have. I can assure you kids are incredibly resilient. You are resilient and I promise you, you will get through this, especially as we're starting to enter into flu season. So stay safe, stay healthy, follow those Lysol tips and I will see you all next time. Bye.